it would finally end up laughing so hard they forgot what they were mad at me about. <laughs> so <laughs> that saved me a number of times. But that is one of the ways um, that they're going to tell us how to get out of a conflict with or a fight with a bully. But then they'll also show us how you can defend yourself if, if that you bully is just to. not giving up. Yeah. Right. If you get to the bicycle racks at 3 o'clock and there's nothing you can do about it, <laughs> then by golly, we're going to show you what you can do about it. But now we're going to start our program off by introducing our first guest. Our first guest has been called the best cowboy singer in Texas and the big daddy of country music. But most folks know him as the original Rolling Stone from Texas. And ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Don Walzer. I was 12 years old when I busted my first Bronco in La Mesa, Texas, don't you know? Since then I've made my living from the saddle left that gave me down in Fort Worth at the Fat Stock Rodeo. I can do more from a saddle than I can from my old pickup, and my horse is better company I know. I'm a Texas top and end up at my bottom dollar, ma'am. I'll wind up in the money at this year's rodeo. I'm a Texas top and I'm a number one man when it comes to matters of an old cow ham. I can ride them, I can break them, and on Friday I'll be making my way into town to dance to some old cowboy band. I play my old guitar and run my fingers over them old rusty strings They're beginning to sound funny, think I'll take some drinking money And buy another set this coming spring There's a full moon on the rise as we turn in for the evening And the prairie is as pretty as can be There ain't no better life than the life of a cowboy It's as close as you can get to being wild and living free I'm a Texas top and I'm a number one man when it comes to matters of an old cow hand. I can ride them, I can break them, and on Friday I'll be making my way into town to dance some old cowboy band. Walzer, good morning, sir. Good morning. Please come over and have a seat. Good morning, <laughs> Texas, huh? Yeah. <laughs> How'd you like to be stuck next to him on Central at 5 o'clock on Friday? Well, that would be being fun. stuck on Central fun. Exactly. I think so, too. I think it'd be a lot of fun. You roll the window down, start a little uh, sing-along going there, because Lord knows you'd be there for about a half an hour. <laughs> Amazing. His mouth is moving just about that much, and all that sound comes out all of there. We were about out. that way this morning coming in. Were you? I-30, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, but where does that yodeling come from? Is it mostly in the throat, in the diaphragm? Where is it? I, I, th I think it's mostly in the throat. You know, it, uh, you just do a falsetto, and then you come back down being to the regular melody, you know, and it back and forth and back and forth. Hmm. Why, what, uh, did you wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning one time and say, you know, I think I'll be a yodeler? No, I heard a fellow by the name of Elton Britt sing Chime Bells, and uh, I decided I want to sing that song, and so I started singing it. Now, of course, uh, I always did the old Jimmy Rogers yodels, mm -hmm. which were f fairly easy, you know. Mm -hmm. Everybody did those, but the the more intricate yodeling that, that uh, Slim Whitman and, and those kind of guys did, well, uh, I wanted to do that, so I just kind of practiced, you know. You were a self-taught musician. Are you also a self-taught yodeler? Yes. Uh -huh. you, you talked about intricacies of yodeling. I wasn't aware of the, uh, the different levels. Is there a different mm -hmm. level that you, you know, you start out as like a beginning yodeler? And then if you're good, you get up to like mediocre yodeler. Yeah, like that beginning yodeling thing that I did. Did you sound that bad ever? Oh, you sounded good. You oh, sounded no. good. Oh, no. I mean, is I there, are, there, are there certain yodels that are tougher to do than other yodels? I think the Swiss type yodeling, and they, they, have, they have a lot of uh, 
uh, uh, operatic type yodels and stuff that I, I can't even begin to do, you know. So you would say foreign yodels are tougher than local lo local sure. yodels? you know, I just do the old cowboy yodeling and, the, and the, you know, the, the uh, a little bit of double yodeling and stuff like that. Double yodeling? You know what? Yeah. What's double yodeling? Uh, double yodeling is... Like that, you know? Oh, okay. <laughs> As compared to your single yodel, which is more of a Jimmy Rogers yodel, kind of like how do you do? Gotcha. So did yodeling come to, to Texas or this part, or the United States rather, um, from, did the Swiss bring it or the Germans or it combined with cowboy music? Or? I think a little bit all. Uh, mm -hmm. I, you know, Jimmy Rogers put a yodel to, to things and uh, he was greatly influenced by the, uh, what the music that the, the black folks were doing back, uh -huh. the African American folks were doing around the turn of the century. In fact, all music is very much influenced by those folks yeah. that they sung. Hmm. Uh, he kind of put a yodel to the, a sort of a bluesy type thing. You know? Right. And hey, now you live in Austin. Right. Uh -huh. yeah, and now down and around the Austin area and Fredericksburg area, there's a big German and, and population. Uh, Germanic population mm -hmm. yeah. down there. So is there a lot of yodeling down there in the Hill Country? Uh, I've heard some. That's not a lot that, I, that I've heard, but uh, there's probably a lot more than I've heard. <laughs> being being well, that there's a lot of folks now, like that down there. Is this your, this is your latest CD? Yes, it is. Uh -huh. Texas it, Top Hand. Texas Top Hand. And that's what you just sang for us, right? Right. Uh, uh, Ray Benson, Asleep at the Wheel, the big tall guy, yes, you sir. know, with yes, the big sir. feet, you know. Right. Right, yeah. Well, I never he, noticed his He speed, and I wrote I that song together. Oh, you did? Uh-huh. Well, good for you. Now, can, where can folks get this? Uh, music stores everywhere? You can get them at, uh, like, the Ernest Tubb Record Shop, uh, you, you know, down in Fort Worth. You can get them at Tower, and, and a lot of the uh, Walmarts carry them. And good deal. Yeah, and the this bigger, is real Texas Like music. Blockbuster, I think, carries them, you know. And yeah. It really is terrific. This we is the thank stuff you. I send to my friends out of the state who want to know oh, Texas, and this uh -huh. gives you the whole spirit of it. Definitely, definitely. Now you're going to come back and at the end of the program and sing some more for us, right? Sure. Good. Yes. We appreciate it. Don Walzer, everybody. Texas Top Hand. You can get the uh, CD everywhere. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having we me. We appreciate it. That was really that was very interesting. It's very pretty too. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It is catching. Well, Don, okay. off camera, Don just dropped his hat. <laughs> Coming up. Come on through, Don. You, Don. Go on through there, buddy. He's going to join us tomorrow for that. But as we leave you today, we want to hear another song from Don Walzer gathered around the campfire with all of our camp kids. Make it a good day. Oh, the cattle are frowning and the coyotes are howling. 